Hey folks, Jonathan Bennett here to talk about a problem with a few specific bits of Meshtastic hardware, including, unfortunately, the Waveshare Raspberry Pi hat that I previously recommended. The problem is data corruption when sending long packets, and uh, this shows up as packets just not ever being received correctly on the other side, and the dash 7 errors in the logs on the receiving side for those packets. Uh, that message is a CRC error. When, when Meshtastic assembles a LoRa packet, it adds an error-correcting code to the packet. If something goes wrong, like a bit getting flipped along the way, the CRC code no longer matches. It's part of the LoRa spec. This problem really became obvious after we added the public key to the node info announcements. That made those packets long enough to trigger the issue on hardware that has the problem. We're pretty sure we know what's happening here based on the Simtech documentation. It is similar to, but not quite the same as the Helltech T114 version 1 issue. The devices that have this specific problem have a passive crystal oscillator, obviously, uh, often abbreviated as an XTAL. The LoRa radio chip on board generates heat while transmitting. And because the LoRa chip is connected directly to the crystal with copper traces, that heat transfers very quickly into the crystal. And heating the crystal changes the frequency at which it oscillates, throwing off the transmission. The solution is to use a TCXO, a temperature-controlled oscillator. It has active components that correct for heat-induced frequency drift, where a passive crystal does not. And Simtech's documentation confirms that it's common for passive crystals to really struggle with transmit times over about 400 milliseconds. This checks out with what we've observed with this particular problem. Now, Back to Waveshare, you may ask yourself, why would Waveshare make a hat with this known problem? And the answer is that the Waveshare hat really is made for LoRa WAN, which uses much shorter packets than Meshtastic does. Uh, just by the way, the current generation of Pine64 Pine Dio, the USB LoRa adapter, it has the same issue. Um, for the Raspberry Pi, the only pre-made option, the only pre-made hat I'm aware of that actually has a TCXO is the Mesh Advantage, the Mesh ADV from Frequency Labs that's selling on Etsy. Now, that's a maker from the community that's putting these together, so availability will probably be limited. Uh, many of you know that some of the core Meshtastic developers have banded together to form Meshtastic solutions, and one of the goals of that effort is to make quality hardware more available to the community. And hardware for native deployments is definitely on our radar. Unfortunately, there's nothing to announce yet, but it is being worked on, things are in the works. So lots more is coming soon, stay tuned. Hopefully next time we'll have a little bit better announcement for you. And happy meshing.